In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the crank sensor on this Cadillac SRX. This is going to be located on the back side of the engine in between the transfer case and the engine block itself. We're going to take this engine cover off. I'm going to use a T30 socket, loosen up this screw right here. Screw out, take the oil cap off, just twist, and grab the cover, pull straight up. Now I'll just put the cap back on just so nothing falls down there. This connector right here goes to the O2 sensor that's on the top of the catalytic converter. I'm going to disconnect that. Just, there's a little lock tab there, you want to pull that out. and disconnect the connector. There's a wire tie over here. I'm just gonna cut the wire tie. And that's loose. We're gonna take these nuts off. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Sometimes the stud will come with the nut, and that's okay. Pull that last nut out. Now, it's separated right there. And there is a gasket right here, so keep that in mind. We're gonna take these nuts off, use a 15 millimeter socket. For this one, I'm gonna to have to use a ratchet wrench, but same size, 15 millimeter. And take that off. That should be separated right there. You can hit it with a hammer. Good, that's loose. Disconnect the connector for the O2 sensor. Just pull this tab, pull that connector off. And if there's any wire ties holding the wire on, you wanna disconnect those. 
I'm going to take these two nuts off, use a 15 millimeter socket. And make sure you support the exhaust before you take that last nut off, just because it could fall. Just pull that down. off and come right down from up top and reach along the back side of the engine and we're going to disconnect this connector this goes to the front O2 sensor for the rear converter just try to pop that lock off first and disconnect the connector just like that and then follow along the wire and see if there's any retainers there's a wire tie holding it on right here so I'll just cut that there we go that's cut so that's loose disconnect the connector for the second O2 sensor just try to get this lock off Just going in through the wheel well area near the tie rod. Disconnect that and then disconnect the connector. There we go. It's disconnected. And then follow it back, see if there's any wire ties, which there is. And I'll cut that. And just using some side cutters, cut the wire tie. loose. Now we're going to take the nuts off for the manifold or the top part of the converter. I'm going to use a 15 millimeter swivel socket. And take the nuts off. And just use a magnet if you need to. And I'm going to take the last one off. Make sure you support the converter because it's going to be loose once you get this one off. Slide it out and slide it down. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're going to take this bolt out. Take that longer bolt out. And these lower two bolts, take these out, same 15 millimeter socket. bracket that slides right out follow the shield and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there use a 10 millimeter socket take that bolt out we're just trying to take the shield off You take that bolt out and the shield will come right off. If you follow this wire, that looks like it's got tin foil around it all the way back towards the transmission. You can see where the sensor is there. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to take the bolt out. 
I'm just going to use a magnet from underneath to grab the bolt. You can kind of see it between the transfer case and the oil pan. You just can't get your hands in there. Pull that out. Now just grab the sensor, give it a wiggle, and slide it out. Just using some hose pliers just to twist it a little bit. Just try to slide it out. Just wiggle it back and forth. it out. Disconnect the connector. I'm just going to use a pick. There's a little lock tab right there. Slide up on that. You can push down and it slides right out. Take the sensor. I'm going to plug the connector in to make it a little easier and then lock it down. Put a little bit of lubricant on the o-ring. There is special o-ring lubricant you can use. Now slide it in position. Get it lined up. Push it in. Try to get the hole lined up. Take the bolt. Get the bolt started. And snug that down. And I'm gonna to torque that bolt to 89 inch pounds. Take the shield, line it back up. Get the bolt started. Make sure the wires are under the shield. Snug that down. If you have to adjust the shield a little bit, just move it up so that hole's lined up. That's good. Get the long bolt started. And the other two bolts. and tighten the bolts down. go back and snug those down. That's tight. Now I'll take the gasket off. Make sure that surface is clean. You can wipe it down with a rag. If you need to, you use a scraper. Take a new gasket and line it up. Take the converter and slide that in position. Go over the studs. Make sure you have one of the nuts in your hand. Get that started.
get the other nuts started. Tighten these down. Just go opposite side. Tighten it down evenly, diagonal. If you can get a torque wrench in here, you wanna to torque these to 15 foot-pounds first and then 34 foot-pounds. Do the best you can. are tight. Connect the lower O2 sensor. Make sure it locks in place and you can put that safety lock on. It's in there. And if there's extra wire, you want to just wire tie that out of the way. Wire tie this right here next to this bracket. And just trim the excess. Connect the connector up top for the O2 sensor. And add that extra lock. Slide that in position. And if you have extra slack, you just want to wire tie that out of the way. And just trim the excess on the wire tie. Take the old manifold seal off. Slide that down. I'm just gonna take a rag and just wipe it. If there's any material, you just want to use a scraper. Just scrape it off. This looks pretty good. Take the new seal, line it up, and put it in position. Take this exhaust seal off. You can use a scraper. Just pry off any excess debris. I'm just gonna use a grinder and just grind off any excess. You can use a hammer and just tap. Sometimes that helps to get some pieces, small pieces of the seal off. Take your gasket, line it up, set that in position. On these back two seals, we're gonna do the same thing. Just use a scraper, scrape off the seals. And put your new gaskets on. We're gonna do the same on the ceiling surfaces on the front converter. We'll clean these up. Just take a hammer. And scrape it off. We'll do the same on the sides here.
right, that looks good. Slide the cat up. You don't have to put it on the studs yet. We'll get the back two lined up, the two flanges. Gaskets on and get this flange lined up. Push it up, take one of the nuts and get that started. And line everything up, front lined up. And you can put one of the nuts on up top if you can reach it. Get all the other nuts started. Make sure the flange is lined up and tighten those down. Tighten these up. Connect the lower O2 sensor wire, plug that into the connector, lock it down with that extra lock, and if there's excess wire, just use a wire tie, tie it out of the way. And trim the excess. Now we'll put the nuts up top. If you have a stud that came out, you want to put that stud in. Get that started. And all the other nuts. Tighten these down. I'm going to torque the nuts, the first pass, 15 foot pounds. Just alternate from corner to corner, just to tighten it down evenly. And go to 34 foot pounds for the second pass. Connect the connector for the O2 sensor. Lock it down and put the lock through. And if the wire is excessively long, you want to wire tie that down so it's out of the way. And trim the rest. Take the oil cap off. Take the cover, line it up. Push it down, put the oil cap back on. Take the bolt, 
get that lined up and snug it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.